Hey, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining. First, a shout out to all my Marine Corps brothers and sisters. Happy 248th birthday. And uh, may we serve for the next 300 years with the same honor and distinction. Oorah. Now, get on to this. I don't normally bang on products because I try and buy only the things that are good. I have some products that I bought and they turned out not as good, but hey, it's okay. I had a notional buy. I was down at Highland Hardware and I'm calling them out because this isn't the quality of tool that I would expect out of them. Now, it's not their fault totally. It's mine because I bought these, but I was checking out. They had a, these screwdrivers sitting there. These are called Perfect Pattern Screwdrivers. I love these things. Uh, they were patented in 1903 by, by I believe the fellow was W.S. Ward, uh, and sold by a company by the name of Smith, I think it's B.S. Uh, Smith or B.L. Smith. Um, you can look that up online if you want. Great tools, all right? These are heavy-duty screwdrivers. Now, some, they were on sale, on sale. Bought a set of them for like 46 bucks or 40, I think 46 bucks. Um, and then I didn't look at them. Now, I'm from Michigan. I was down in Atlanta, put them in the bag, put them in the car, drove back. If I'd been smart, I would have looked at them. Maybe I would have returned them. However, come on in here and I'll show you what the problem is. All right, real quick. This is what you'd normally have for screwdrivers today. All right, quarter inch, three eighths, and a half inch. Kind of, you can see the, sh the sizing of the shaft. They're sized to the type of screw that you're driving. You don't need a heavy driver, heavy shaft to drive a small screw. All right, and these are pretty common. This is what you'll buy normally. These are the ones I got. Now, if you notice these, the tips are the same <laughs> on all of these. <laughs> and the shafts are the same in all of them. Oh my gosh. All they did is shorten it, and, uh, and it makes them completely useless because the only screw you can drive with this thing is a monster, a monster screw. I mean, in fact, I don't even know if I can get this into a screw anymore. Um, that's the first thing. So these things are really horrible from the standpoint you can't even use them. I've had a lot of grinding to do to make them, to get them sized appropriately, which is a pain. Of course, it doesn't mean I can get it possibly a new tool. I need a uh, uh, sander, metal sander, so maybe I'll do that. But also, then when you look at the, at the handles themselves, all right, the rivets are sticking out. There's a lot of uh, uh, scratch marks. Now, I wasn't expecting superb workmanship on these, but I would have at least thought this would have been sanded down so there's not burrs and they don't catch, because these things catch like crazy right now. They're really not usable, so this whole handle's got to be sanded down or maybe even taken off and replaced, which is kind of sad because I paid a lot of money for these, what I think is a lot of money, but they're all that way. And then you can see where the sander just basically flattened the whole section here. So that's endemic of, the, of all three of these. Now I just want to show you, this is what an actual perfect pattern uh, would look like. This one is over, this one actually is over 100, over 100 years old, and it's actually German. Um, but even now, you know, 100 years, these things are really nice and smooth. You can see the grace, all right? Nicely, nicely done. Where these have, I mean, I don't even know, grind marks all over, flat spots, uh, pretty bad. They basically took some bar stock. It's probably not even good bar stock. So if I went to all the trouble to fix them, most likely they probably end up failing on me because they're not uh, good steel. I don't know where they are made, doesn't say, haven't been able to find. And be honest with you, if I made them, I'd be horribly embarrassed too. But actually, I, my, I think Highland Hardware should be embarrassed to put those things out, man. Uh, but here's my first admonition. What I did, I saw them, I bought them, notional buy, without looking at them very closely. I got all excited because I've always wanted a set of these. Now I spent 40 bucks and just basically threw it in the trash. All right? Make sure when you're buying tools, you look it over really well. So, second thing is, make sure it's something you need. Did I really need a set of perfect pattern screwdrivers? Oh, heck no. I got screwdrivers all over the place. But they're really cool, and I like them. So, all that said, hey, I hope you got something out of this. And if you did, do me a favor, hit like, like and subscribe. On that note, folks, appreciate you being here. And until next time, 
good making.